Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Webdev. In this video, we will learn about the defining a store in a Pinia. So we have seen the basic counter example how we can implement using the Pinia we have seen it. Now we will dive into the core concepts in the Pinia. So out, out of this core concept, the first concept is nothing but defining a store. So we have already seen the defining a store. So now we need to know that store is defined using define store and that requires a unique name as the first argument. If you see here, let me close these all the things. Here I want this one and also I want this one. Remove here. Yeah. So now let's say that yeah, here. If you go to the counter.js file, here a store is created or it is defined using a method that is nothing but define store and this contains the first argument is a unique name so what is the use of this unique name means so this unique name is also referred to as an id and it is necessary and it is used by pinia to connect the store to the dev tools if you try to see here in our inspect element you will be able to see the view dev tools which you can be installed from the view dev tools chrome extension and here you will be able to connect through the pinia okay you will be able to get the pinia thing now let's say so now for example let's close this one and i will do here let's have the inspect element okay here if i go to the base here you will be able to see the pinia see so this is the pinia and here you will be able to see the counter so this counter name is defined with here. So that is the thing. Now you understood, right? So now what I can say is defining a store. So here there are two ways. Okay. So there are two ways. Define store accepts two distinct values as its second argument. If you try to see here, one is with a setup function and another one, another one is an options object. So this one is an options object and also through the setup function also we can create the store. First we will see how we can define a store using the options object. We have, we have already created it but we will explain it clearly. So now store is defined using a define store right not define slot sorry. Define store. It should be imported from the Pinia. It should not be constant required like that. It's a common JS invention uh, notation. So we need to import from Pinia. Pinia. Okay. And here it should be define store. So oh, sorry, define store. That is required JS. So now here we will be able to see define store. Yeah. So now similar to the view options API, how we have seen it, we can also pass an options object with the state, actions, and the getter properties. So now first we need to define the unique name that is nothing but counter. You can also have a store, whatever the name you want, you can have it. And this one, first one takes an options object. And in this one, you'll be having the first one is a state. And uh, wow, another one is another one is the actions or otherwise getters. And the last one is the actions. So these are the two properties which you will be having. So the state, what does the state will take? State will have, you can think of it as the data of the store. So you can think state as the data of the store. And this takes the function. So you can mention it like this or like, yes six notation also you can mention it and it will return the object so this is the react object and here we can have a count zero okay so this is how we're doing and getters so what is this getters getters are nothing but what i can say is these are computed properties of the store so for example let's say that if i am mentioning here getters it should not be comma and let's say that i am having a double count so here double double count so that means whatever the value will be having it will try to make the double so this one you will be having a state you will get the state here and whatever the count you are having i will make it as into two that's it so this will return to two and the last one what we will be having is the actions so the actions are nothing but the methods so whatever the method you try you want to call it you can call it in the actions so here in this actions we can have an increment method increment and here i can call this dot count plus plus that's it that's it so this is how we will be mentioning in our we will be mentioning the store 
Now, if you want to use it in the home dot view, we are using this use counter store, right? And also I can do uh, the double count. So here you can have a double count, double count, counter dot double count. Okay, so this is the double count. Now, if you try to see the output, so here if you try to see the output, refresh this page. Gone. Well, gone. So what what is the problem we are having? So we need to export this one, right? Export constant counter. So some with some variable we need to export it. This should be unique. And here with that name we are trying to. Okay, now fine. Now here if you see the output, let me refresh this page. Again, does not provide an export use counter. What could be the problem here? export counter put constant counter okay home dot u the counter is equal to use counter should okay 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 the name should be like this not counter right let's see the example how it will be so now we are able to get a counter and double count right if i click on this one see the double the count we are able to get it so this is how we will be implementing the in using the options api okay so this is using the options api so right now so the options api takes that three parameter it's not three parameters three properties state getters and the action getters is nothing but the manipulation of this state so whenever you want to manipulate the state so you can write the code here and you can get the value so these are nothing but a computer properties what i can say so this is about the option state so options store should feel initiative and simple to get started with so when you are trying to start with uh, when you are trying to start the pinia in your project so options api is a very simple and you can get start with it this one so the next format is a setup store which we will try to see it in the next video and here this is how we will be doing and now what i will be trying to do is i will be committing this all the code in video in a new branch video hyphen 67 so whoever may be having the doubts and all those things so they can go and take it here so here what you can see is defining store options api okay so i am completing this code so let's publish this branch and if you go here so i will be providing this url in the <clears throat> in the in the description below of this video so whoever wants this code so they can go to this particular branch or particular video and they can have this one so maybe this code is committed i think so here it's come it's still not committed so let it commit so whoever may be having the doubts in any video of this view router and all those things view pinia so here to that particular video they can go and they can check this one so that's it about this uh what i can say is options defining a store in the options api in the next video you will see how we can write the same thing using the composition api hope you understood about this one if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you